I did uh, the plie squat challenge with uh, my gal Cassie, Casey, and uh, washed my face with that uh, acne doubt again. Not too bad. The mint tingle though, I could do without. That strawberry chia seed jam that I made yesterday, not having a problem buzzing through that. Remember I was like, Oh, I wonder how long uh, this will last, or I don't know how long this will last in the fridge. Maybe I'll have to get clever with uses. Uses are putting it in my mouth and swallowing it. That stuff is so stinking good. Um, it's going to help me, this strawberry, with, with it being strawberry season, it's going to help uh, a fair amount with uh, me going through my Costco Chia stockpile. So, and thanks for the tip, guys, about uh, soaking the chia seeds. I think between so pre-soaking them and then putting them in the blender somehow, it makes them easier to hack. They're not bad. They're just, uh, you have to be cautious when you're ingesting them because they absorb so much water. They can get stuck in your throat. It's a bit hazardous. So last night, I also uh, reconstituted some of that uh, wakame. Uh, I'm just loving that on top of cucumber salads. It is uh, really kicks up the mineral game. Loving that. But anyways, guys, I am on my way, and I will check in with you at the noon hour. Okay. All right. So today there are the yellow lentils with the green split peas on spinach, and this is some of that. Uh, um, this is some of that nori that I just reconstituted in cold water and put on top. And have a cucumber and celery and carrot and nutritional yeast and it is going to be delicious. Plus we've got supplemental salad and they've really uh, stepped up their cucumber slicing game. I guess it's cucumber season. They look a little particularly jazzy. Um, and apple and my salt beans. <laughs> I just got back from uh, work, and as you saw, I went ahead and got my crock pot going with my veggies. Um, today, today I've got um, some uh, rice cauliflower, a zucchini, um, white onion, and uh, some garlic, cumin, curry, ginger, and then I just add a little bit of water, and I let that sim sim simmer there. And uh, then when I get Done from the gym, I uh, add in my uh, lentil split pea mix and it makes a nice uh, soup. Some of you guys were asking if I add um, veggie broth to my crock pot veggie cook down, and I don't. I mean, I've actually completely stopped having to purchase um, my low sodium vegetable stock that I was buying. I, just by virtue of doing these, I just found that I wasn't needing it anymore. So that's awesome. Um, speaking of purchases, I went ahead and um, we got done slightly early today. I guess some people were still out of town for the holiday and we had quite a few, some, we had some cancellations towards the end of the day. So I took it upon myself to swing into both Costco and Kroger and get my groceries uh, for the week since I didn't really go this weekend. And, I don't want to go this upcoming weekend. Um, and so I'll sh I thought I'd show you guys my grocery haul, um, mostly produce since I've been relying on Viacos for my dry goods largely. But I did get quite, a I did get some dry goods today. Um, oh, check out this cute apron my mom got me, guys. She got this at um, Ikea, um, somewhere I don't ever have the, um, I'm just not brave enough to go into Ikea. It reminds me too much of Home Depot or Lowe's and, this place is just, is reminiscent of that. I don't know what it is. Something about the strollers and the things up overhead. I just, I, I don't care for it. But, I mean, they do have cute stuff in there. 
Um, but anyway, so I thought I'd show you everything I got. I'll start with Costco first. So from Costco, I got my big bag of the fresh and quick uh, tender young leaf spinach. I really love this stuff. I don't care that it's not organic. It tastes fantastic to me. Um, and I've really been enjoying it from there. And this is the one that I always get. It's two and a half pounds and it's pretty inexpensive. And I go through it in approximately five days. There are 10 servings in this. So I have about two servings of spinach a day roughly and I'm not even mad about that and then I got another bag of my organic cauliflower rice that I love so much so I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy into the freezer I've been freezing this lately um, and I find that it, it keeps quite nicely it freezes up quite nicely so I'm just gonna pop him in the freezer right quick and then I also got some celery from Costco because I love this stuff and ugh, they're bringing back a strong organic mushroom game at my Costco. They've been looking fresh and clean, so I picked up two of these bad boys. Um, they just have uh, Cook Me Down in the Crock Pot with some uh, legumes written all over them. And moving right along to Crozier, I picked up a two pound bag of whole carrots. Um, and of course, a white onion because what self respecting. Uh, home cook does not have at least one or two of these floating around at any given moment. Um, it is that time of the year. I got some cucumbers, really loving these. And I also got some gala apples to take to lunch. And a lime because A, these are redeemed 25 cents on any lime purchase on Ibotta. And uh, berry lime water with the berry sweet leaf uh, drops. So join that. Um, and then um, I had a coupon at Kroger for like a dollar off their brand of peanut butter. I don't normally eat peanut butter, but I've got some baking recipes that I've been wanting to do, like these little oatmeal things. Um, and so I basically got this for like, I don't know, 70 cents. Um, it is just basically ground up peanuts and uh, salt. So uh, not too mad about that. It's the natural one. And so I like to actually... Um, when I do purchase these, I store them upside down in the refrigerator. I find that the um, the separation, um, I find that by storing these upside down in the refrigerator, uh, it allows the oil to um, intercalate pe better into the uh, nut component and you not have to stir as aggressively and make a mess. So that's a little nut butter tip for you gals and guys. And then for my Ibotta haul, I have been really enjoying cranberry beans, and I'll be darned, they had them at Kroger, um, so I picked up another bag of them. Um, I need to find these in a bulk section somewhere, so I don't have to keep buying these, like, one-pound wimpy bags, because these are definitely, along with lentils, I think so far these lentils and garbanzo are some of my favorite. Oh, and dark red kidney beans. Let's face it, there's not a legume I dislike. Okay. And then um, I picked up a thing of um, unsweetened cashew milk. For those of you who are wondering, yes, I am still making my own uh, cashew milk. However, when things get busy, I supplement with a little formula. <laughs> um, and then for my Friday night treat, thanks, uh, 25 cents back on a, a dollar back, I think it was back on Ibotta, I can't remember. I got my lemon cayenne Kavita here, I love him. Um, and then, I also picked up some uh, nori here for uh, shredding up and putting into my veggie cook down since I don't add salt to anything. And then these guys were on Ibotta as well. These are the mini jars. Um, so I picked up some of those for uh, storing spices. Asian Indian influences in my crock pot cook down. And so there's some basic spices that I feel like I could purchase um, in uh, b bigger quantities or something and put them into these rather than buying them at like the normal grocery store, just going to like Fiesta or the specialty grocery stores where they're much more inexpensive and have better brands of them. So that's what I plan to do with those guys. And I was happy to get $2 back from I bought on them. Um, so yeah. And then um, you guys um, know I love my candles. <clears throat> so I enjoy these candlelight company candles. Uh, 
uh, that they sell at my Kroger and they had them buy one get one free. So I got Key Lime Gelato because I've really, really been enjoying the Tuscany Candle Company lemon cookie. And so the Key Lime Gelato seemed like a nice uh, gateway into July, if you will. Um, and then I don't care about this being a like fall scent. Who doesn't want cinnamon pecan swirl scent all the time? And this is a good one. So I took advantage of the BOGO and picked him up. And then check out these bougie matches your gal got this week. Ooh, ooh, moving on up in life. Before you know it, I'll be summering in the Hamptons and driving a yacht, just kidding. Um, these are the Diamond Green Light Long Reach Matches, extra thick. Um, I'm so happy about these. Um, this is probably my favorite purchase from Kroger. Oh, and then the other thing that I got is um, another thing of strawberries, which I um, put in. First I rinsed these off under running water for a few seconds, and then I soaked them in a bath of white vinegar and water, and then I just let them dry here. Um, and then I put them in the fridge and I eat them pretty expeditiously. <laughs> So yeah, that's everything that I got this week at Kroger and Costco. So I'm going to put this stuff in the fridge and head to the gym and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, it's my favorite time or Acacia relaxing lavender. Love these. Um, so I just got out of the shower, you know, I had a great workout in the gym. And you all know that I'm going to be trying out some of these new sunscreens soon um, that I got uh, recently to talk about with you guys and to share my experience with you all. Um, but kind of bridging the gap and, um, you know, in terms of the comments and, and, and questions about different sunscreens that I wanted to talk about tonight is our friend La Roche Posse or La Roche Pose. Um, because a lot of people ask me about La Roche Pose, particularly you European folks, and I don't want to leave you hanging. Um, so I can just share with you my experience with these two sunscreens and um, disclaimer some of you have asked me like where I get these cute little mini ones um, I picked these up these were given to me at the American Academy of Dermatology meeting that I went to back in what was that March dues paying member of the Academy of Dermatology and I go to a meeting for continuing medical education which I pay a fee for as well and as part of that fee I go to there's a little um, product fair and you can get you know samples of sunscreens to try out uh, before recommending them to your patients and so La Roche Posse <laughs> La Roche Pose is always there and they give out these cute little mini ones for you to try and uh, so I don't think they're available like in the in the public. Sorry, I'll just show you guys. This is the first one. The Anti Helios 60 Broad Spectrum uh, Cell Ox Shield XL Advanced UVA UVB Protection Water Resistant, etc. And I do like this sunscreen. It's just here in the US, it's so gosh darn expensive, in my opinion, for a sunscreen. And it's a chemical sunscreen, the filters of which are not particularly are not particularly remarkable. Um, you know, it says on the label it's got the Cellox Shield XL. I don't know what the heck that is. That's not in any dermatology textbook. Um, you know, it, it's something that they're claiming uh, stabilizes some of the ingredients a little bit more. Um, I can only comment on the fact that this is a chemical sunscreen. Its filters are no different than any other one. If you're sensitive to Ava Benzone, this may be problematic to you. If you if you find chemical sunscreens burn or sting you, this may be problematic to you. Um, but it's not a bad sunscreen at all. Um, so if you like it, there is absolutely no reason to not use it and you're okay paying that amount. Um, as far as the vehicle and how it goes on, it's very liquidy in my opinion. So uh, it doesn't go very far, um, which contributes to its cost in my opinion as well. Um, but it does go on nice and matte like it says. And so I think oily shiny people tend to really like this one um, and you know there's that the other thing about La Roche Posay sunscreens um, here versus in the US I, I already mentioned they're very expensive but our filters are different so I'm interested to know um, so I don't leave you guys in Europe hanging please comment below on what the active ingredients are listed on your La Roche Posay um, sunscreens that you want me to, to talk 
to, to talk about and you know maybe I can address that in the comments because you know Tinisorb is a, a, a different filter that we don't have here that that's very good um, and so I'd be interested to know but they're very expensive here and in my opinion in the US they don't offer anything but importantly if you have purchased these and love them and you know they're good in my opinion okay the sunscreen that you like and you use is the best one okay so if it happens to be this by all means it's not a bad sunscreen in my opinion but do you need this over or any other chemical sunscreen? No, unless this is the only one that works for you and that you like. Um, as far as their tinted one, um, likewise, this is a uh, mineral sunscreen that's titanium dioxide based, and they have done a fairly nice job uh, camouflaging the white tint in the in the tint. Um, it goes on very very matte. I don't like this because I feel it, it's too drying and, and kind of dries on very very tight even to the shiny areas of the forehead but some people really like it um, so I don't think it's bad I just you know like I said they're very expensive I like my Elta MD far better because I think um, even though many people comment that it's expensive I feel that it's actually cheaper than this because it its vehicle uh, goes a lot further than this um, and this comes out very very watery and kind of messy in my experience so and it's usually a small tube and, and very expensive in, in Target so I just wanted to share that with you guys please comment below about La Roche-Posay sunscreens that you're intrigued about I'm interested I don't want to leave you La Roche posses hanging um, but yeah I thought I would mention that on here um, tonight because you guys asked me a fair about a fair amount about it but yeah I hope you enjoyed the vlog today I'm gonna conclude it here give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye, bye.